shape of the, the very presence of hell which was ever before me. My friend was still inside. My spirit was very sad. We arrived at the right level of hell. Looking ahead, I saw that we were on a pathway which was dry and dry. Streams filled the dirty air, and the stench of death was everywhere. The odor was sometimes so repugnant that it made me sick to my stomach. So you've all these senses here, just like you have here, except your body can't die in hell, so it's like people die and get continually punished. Um, it doesn't matter what happens to them, they keep continually keep living. Everywhere was darkness except for the lights which emanated from Christ and the flaming pits, which dotted the landscape as far as I could see. All at once, demons of all kinds were going past us. Imps growled at us as they went. Demon spirits of all sizes and shapes were talking to each other. Out ahead of us, a big demon was giving orders to small ones. He stopped to listen, and Jesus said, There is also an invisible army of evil forces that we do not see here, demons, such as evil spirits of sickness. Go, the larger demon said to the smaller imps and devils, to many evil things, because break up homes and destroy families. There we have it. Yeah. Seduce weak Christians and misinstruct and mislead as many as you can. You shall have the reward when you return. Remember, you must be careful of those who have genuinely accepted Jesus as your Savior. They have the power to pass you off. Go now across the earth. I have lots of others up there already and still have others to send. Remember, we are servants of the Prince of Darkness and of the powers of the air. So again, you know, the United Nations, Adam March, and all these rock columns, who are demons of hell, wanting to help these guys because Satan eventually is going to get his worship because of the Antichrist who have world government. So we've got Albert Pike, who tells us that the effective the Lucifer, he tells us the Prince of Darkness is Lucifer. So we have Adam March and the Lucifer, the Illuminati, wanting to bring up families. We have the UN wanting to bring up families by removing the man, and we have demons ordered by Satan and Lucifer to break up homes and destroy families because they want to get all the structures uh, weaken the nations. This tells me that the Illuminati and the UN, the demons of hell, are following Lucifer's orders to break up families in the land of the world and are doing this for world government. <coughs> Mary Baxter also talks about the Antichrist as well when he comes, uh, comes around, she sees visions of hell. Um, Jesus shows us some visions of, of hell and there's a chaotic time happening everywhere. There is complete chaos everywhere. And then the Antichrist comes with a man of peace to try and solve the world's problems. And then there's famines and everything that's taking place um, in the future. All this can help to break up families which are all the divided masses in a dark, cold world for the final social cataclysm where people will be so selfish they will start killing each other, helping to meet the lost child Goals. Mary Pastor also talked about that as well. That there was a time where, where the, the public, that is, demon forces were helping to cause the public to become more evil. So they would start fighting each other as well. And she saw that to be in the future. And of course, Bertrand Russell was assigned by the devil to be the, the future world. This is him predicting the future. He says, The world will be of knowledge with no law and have power without the light. The world will be a place devoid of beauty. Joy. You know, and this is here is just a controlling system for our FEMA camps for when they eventually start hurting the public and controlling them, the, the chaotic masses in the future. They're, they're setting themselves up for this, um, for the chaotic times, which we'll eventually get to. So, anyway, my conclusion is that we see that the media and education system is being used techniques, further techniques, to break the parties of the world government, the United Nations plans eventually. So, it's basically a divided and conquered. You don't want to have to, to try and control a weak, to try and control a, a nation. You don't want a nation that's self-thinking, that can basically um, question you. You know, you know, you don't want the public to be like that. You want the nations to be very weak and very naive, so they will just obey your orders. And that's the reason why they have to divide and conquer the masses in any way they can, so the public eventually give all their all their thinking over to people and the experts and then these people and that's how the mind control works, that's how government mind control works. <coughs> so anyway, that's all I have time for and hopefully this helps to make sense of, of, of my